More than 50 million people are displaced around the world because of conflict, poverty, persecution and climate change. Three of the biggest gateways for migrants and refugees into Europe are through the Western, Central and Eastern Mediterranean. To tackle the unprecedented numbers of people risking their lives to enter its borders, Europe is spending hundreds of millions of euros to fortify its frontiers. We were afraid of, of, of dying in the sea and no one can know about us. Most vessels involved in something um, illegal, they react when they say a vessel approaching at high speed, it will deter them. More than a million Syrian refugees have fled across the border to Turkey. And with the advance of the Islamic State, numbers are likely to be much higher. Tens of thousands attempt short but deadly boat journeys from Turkey to Greece, convinced they'd be treated better in Europe. This is not an option amongst a hundred options. This is the only option. And because there are no safe and legal channels that the European Union has offered for these people to come, they need to put themselves into the hands of criminals and smugglers to try to make this journey. Turkey has become a hub for people trafficking, particularly in Istanbul, in the neighborhood of Aksaray. We visited one of the many Syrian refugee families living there while trying to scrape together enough money to make the trip from Turkey to Europe. Their home was an overpriced damp basement, three floors on the ground. How long have you lived here in this basement? المؤسسين الطلعات اللي كنا نطالب بالحرية والعدل والمساواة ونطلع مظاهرة ضد النظام. What is the situation for for Syrians here? فتت على محل هذلاك اليوم عرفوني سوري هجموا علي ضي يضربوني ابني لأنه سوري كل ما بروحوا بيجي بسب السوريين حكاك المئة مرشة بالمي السخنة لك حرق له وش لأبني فتيل وشاك هاي هاي أعمال تركية. يعني بصدق لو يطلع لي بقارب الموت اسافر فيه على اوروبا لما وقفت Did you say that the boat was called the death boat? يعني كثير بصير في حوادث صغرى يعني بس احسن نعيش من هون لان هون ميت انا لان انا موجود هلا فوق راس هون وما عم اقدر اسوي شيء ولا اقدر ما اقدر اقدم شيء Those attempting the risky boat journey to Europe depart mainly from Turkey's west coast in the hope of reaching nearby Greek islands So we travel to Izmir to meet a young Syrian Kurd whose boat had capsized halfway to Greece. And for all we know, he was the only survivor. I'm Captain Ove, Yane Bon, the Ben Amiran, Hennigden, Udangi, Dangak Fazir Bione. I shot a Durbum as Chorsato Machim, Hayagisum G. Halkayon, G. Mold Darhana. Verbe Hayanha, Kestenzani, Sir Havale Machuni, and Kestenzani, Khabarjinat. 
In Izmir, the people traffickers operate in an area called Basmane. There are a lot of cheap hotels around here where Syrians stay before they attempt to cross. They meet with the smugglers in the small cafes around here. The guys who just passed me were probably carrying life jackets in these plastic bags. We wanted to speak to a smuggler, but they wouldn't meet with journalists. Then a Syrian refugee offered to do the interview on our behalf. One of the main destinations for the migrant boats leaving the coast of Turkey around Izmir is the Greek island of Lesbos. The migrants usually depart at night in small overcrowded boats. I have a much easier journey because I have one of these, a European passport. Guarding the sea border between Turkey and Greece is the Hellenic Coast Guard. Ali, please, very important. Don't be afraid. Yes, I know, I know you are please. Hey, hey, you! Don't make a move, I kill you! Don't make, don't make a move! Hands up! Everybody, hands up! Everybody, hands up! Okay. Alongside the Hellenic Coast Guard, Europe's external border agency, Frontex, has also been active in Greece for years to assist with the monitoring of so-called irregular entries. So the role of Frontex is mainly to support the national authorities responsible for protecting the borders when they face big migratory pressure. The increase in irregular border crossings has been multiplied by five of last year. We were invited to join one of Frontex boat patrols off the coast of Lesbos. Frontex organizes joint operations between EU member states to bolster security at Europe's borders. The boat was sent from Malta with the Maltese Special Forces crew. Is everyone here part of Frontex? We have, we have our normal jobs with the Armed Forces of Malta. Mm -hmm. And just for this deployment, they nominate us and uh, we uh, do what we're tasked as part of the Frontex task group. patrol area and um, we've reduced our speed and uh, we will start monitoring and uh, patrolling the border. The sea is completely pitch yes. black. How can you see if uh, there's a boat with so migrants? Using our navigation and radars um, we will be able to detect uh, vessels and other targets in the water. We have also a night vision and daytime camera. We had stopped right at the European border between Turkey and Greece. They didn't have the mandate to enter Turkish waters. So you can actually see here if there's a boat departing from Turkey yes. directly. Yes, we have these two boats that are fishermen. How do you know they're fishermen boats? You can see from here the, the direction and their speed. Lesbos is a massive island. You're surrounded by a big sea. Mm -hmm. Is it possible to monitor everything that's going on on the coast? I seem to think so, yes. If you would notice anything, if you would see migrants trying to cross over to, to Lesbos, what's the procedure? We'll arrive at a safe distance, speak to the migrants, uh, make sure they have life jackets, and then they will be taken to safety uh, as required. We're 
here to assist the Hellenic Coast Guard, patrol the borders, um, inspect any, any targets. So right now the guys are monitoring the Turkish coast and the Greek coast. And if there's a boat, they can see it, it's like a dot. Something showed up on the radar, a big boat, and now Ben and the guys are checking out what it is. Most vessels involved in something um, illegal, um, they react when they say, you know, a vessel approaching at high speed, it will deter them. It was a false alarm, but the crew still reported it and took photos. Not many migrant boats seemed to be out that night. Sophisticated equipment is used to alert both Greek and Turkish border authorities when a migrant boat is detected departing from Turkey. This collaboration with its neighbors to stop migrants before they reach Europe is one of the EU's routine border practices because it's illegal to send people back once they cross the European border, what is referred to as pushbacks. Still, many NGOs and migrants have reported systematic illegal pushbacks happening along the Greek-Turkish border, carried out by masked men in unmarked uniforms. Allegations have been made against the Greek border authorities, but as of yet, nobody knows who these men are. They were tied with a rope and pushed it back to Turkey. It's not only illegal under domestic, international and European Union law, but it's also morally wrong and also inhumane. To find out more, the next morning, we met with a representative of the Hellenic Coast Guard. Different NGOs interviewed migrants who talk about something called pushbacks happening mm -hmm. in these waters. Mm -hmm. uh, do you know anything about this? We don't uh, have this kind of phenomenon. This is an accusation that we, we hear, but uh, as, as it is uh, proved from the very, very large number of the people who are apprehended, those phenomena do not, do not exist, okay? Why do you think that these stories are being told by many different migrants of different nationalities? You should ask them. I don't know why those stories are heard. Are you allowed to tell the boat that actually this is Greek water and you don't have permission to enter? We call the Turkish authorities to deal with uh, boats who are in uh, Turkish territorial waters. While we were talking, a Coast Guard boat had disembarked with rescued refugees. They were put into a police van in front of the newly arrived tourists. Because the detention center on the island was overcrowded, the van headed to what used to be a children's holiday camp. This is a place where migrants and refugees who just arrived to Lesbos by boat can come in and rest up before they get processed. It's an open camp and it's run by NGOs and local activists. Apparently the people we saw this morning on the port were 31 Syrians and they've all been taken here. How was the journey from Turkey here? We were afraid of, of, of dying in the sea and no one can know about us. But we have to do this because we, we want to run away from the war in our country. Also fleeing war was an Afghan family whose boat had capsized halfway to Greece and the mother was flung into the rough sea. Many died this way, but by a miracle, 18 hours later, she was washed up alive on the shores of Lesbos. When you stepped into the boat that night, were, were you scared? Kavliani, 
گفتم زنده است یا روح زنده است شفخانه اولین کاری کردم رفتم نظم دست شد سعی کردم که باش زنده است یا دور جانش کردم چیزی نشده باشه The village of Altogether is exceptional because while other Greek camps operate like prisons, here people can come and go as they wish. But that freedom only lasts for a few days. Then the authorities come to pick them up and process them. Everything has to do with detention. And that's why we, we stay here and we, we keep this place open because we believe that people can stay in a place open, in a place without fences, where they can move and go out because they are not detainees. They shouldn't be treated as detainees. They are illegal, let's say, as if they could arrive illegally. Many of the volunteers at the camp were critical of Europe's migration policies and border practices. I think the best way is to create a European policy of reception of the people and to have uh, some standards everywhere. And the only thing that is happening is to have more deaths and more traumatized people from this. And also to encourage the smuggling uh, money and the smuggling uh, networks that they get, uh, they profit of the situation. This is the only result of these big uh, uh, operations. <laughs> We were introduced to an Afghan boy who had been pushed back by the mysterious masked men during an earlier attempt to reach the island. Do you know what language they were speaking? No, but when I was in the middle of the night, I was in the middle of the night. 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 So do you think that they had called the Turkish police to say we're going to drop some people off? Yes, yes. When you start to see so many disconnected people saying the same thing, you have to start to wonder what's going on. The allegation is given credibility because of the fact that you have so many different and unconnected people who are telling the same story. She died from my hypothermia. She had personal objects, she had a name, she had documents, she had nothing. 